Shout out to Brown, Aaron. Boy, Money Brown, he get a lot of money. That's why I call him Money Brown. What's <laughs> <laughs> good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. Yeah. I want to give a shout out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Hey, Brian Garcia here. Shout out to Money Brown TV and uh, keep punching, baby. Yo, 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 what's going on at the fight? What's your boy Money back with another one, man? And this one here is on two big dogs at the welterweight division. We got Terrence T. Bud Crawford, that Omaha boy, the three division world champion, the former undisputed world champion, and the current WBO welterweight world champion. Then we have Showtime Sean Porter, that Ohio boy, the former two time welterweight world champion. Y'all know they're taking each other on. Um, November the 20th for Turns T. Bud Crawford WBO title, but Turns Bud Crawford letting Showtime Sean Porter know ain't no more friendship. That shit going out the window. You understand? I'm going and I'm trying to knock your head off. You're going to try to knock my head off. I want y'all to listen to what Turns Bud Crawford had to say about Sean Porter and I'll be back with the great assessment, family. Oh, man. It's it's over with, with, the, with the friendship uh, aspect of the game right now. You know, uh, maybe down in the future, you know, we can revisit that friendship. But right now, you know, he's an enemy of mine. And, you know, it's wartime. So I hope I hope he's feeling the same way. I know he's feeling the same way. But come fight time, I'm going to try to get him out of there. I mean, you can't say it no more plainer than that. You can't say it no more plainer than that. Turns Bill Crawford putting in the hard work. Like you say, come fight time, he coming to try to knock Sean Porter clean and smooth the fuck out. You understand me? And that's the mentality you got to have in this fight game. Ain't no friends. Ain't no friends, homie. You coming to take my food off my plate. You coming to take um, how I feed my kids, my world title. You know, and Showtime Sean Porter should be feeling the same way. He should be feeling the same way. That's why I questioned Sean Porter when he apologized to Turnsville Crawford. You know what I mean? In front of everybody's face, talking about he's sorry for calling them out. What the fuck are you sorry for? What are you sorry for? You understand what I'm saying? Because he got pissed off that you called him out because you wanted to fight? So you apologizing? Nah, 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 nah. That ain't how the game work. <laughs> that ain't how the game work. You feel me? But nonetheless, they taking on each other November 20th. The fight is made. We all know the process they had to um, go through to get here. You know what I mean? It wasn't an easy role. It wasn't an easy role at all. But nonetheless, the fight is here. You understand? This is the fight that Sean Porter wanted. He know this um, completes the puzzle at the welterweight division. Besides um, Manny Pacquiao or fucking Floyd Mayweather, he done fought everybody. And this completes his puzzle, man. This completes his puzzle. You know, we got the young boys coming up. But, you know, that's need to hear it up right now. And Turnsville Crawford, this put a top welterweight that people wanted to see him fight on his resume. You feel me? Because when you look at Jeff Horn, right, you got to get Jeff Horn credit because he was the world champion. But after Jeff Horn, you know, Amir Khan, um, Jose Benavidez, um, Kell Brook and Mean Machine, right? Some of them are notice, noticeable names, but they want the top at the at the division. Now you got somebody like Showtime Sean Porter that's at the top of the division that a lot of people want to see you go up against, and a lot of people think that's going to give you problems. And you got some people that think you will go in there and get him up out of there. You know what I'm saying? And if you could go get Sean Porter up out of there, that's a statement made, bro. It's a statement made. Because like I say, nobody has stopped Sean Porter. Been down twice by A.B. and Earl the Truth Spence Jr., but nobody has stopped Sean Porter. You know what I mean? And if Turnsboro Crawford can go in there and continue what he's been doing at the welterweight division, take that skill set and, and put that same skill set on Showtime Sean Porter, you get this man up out of there, you stop him, knowing how, uh, how, how good Sean Porter be conditioning in each fight, how hard he worked to make sure that he don't get knocked out, you make a statement, homie. You make a statement. And then that Earl Spence and, and Terrence Boyle Crawford fight get that much more dangerous. You know what I mean? But Showtime Sean Porter coming in that thing in great shape. He put in the hard work. He don't take no days off. He don't leave no stone unturned. One thing you know about this kid right here, Sean, he's coming and he's going to bring it. Win, lose, or draw. He's coming and he's going to bring it. And people try to call Sean Porter a B-level fighter. No, Sean Porter is an A-level fighter. You better check them fucking boxes with Sean Porter. You better check them boxes. He's elite. You feel me? Fought the best of the best. Come in great shape. Go in there and fight his ass off. You know what I mean? Go in there and fight his ass off. You better check them boxes with Sean Porter. Y'all boys look at this and y'all just think, oh, he's a he's football Sean and y'all call him this and y'all call him that, but y'all discredit this man. Get this man the fucking credit that he deserved, bro. All the credit that he deserved. 
You feel me? Sean Porter won a lot, a lot, a lot of respect from me. I've been respecting him. And I got on his ass, you know, when him and his daddy was trying to play Ring Around the Rosie on Earl the True Spence Jr. But nonetheless, he was the first man to get in there with Earl Spence. The first man. You did? And I respected that. As a world champion, he was a world champion. You know? Terrence Crawford was pissed off about that, saying Sean Porter didn't want to fight me when he was a world champion, and the fans didn't want him to fight me when he was a world champion. Well, because that's because he went and fought Earl Spence. When he won the title from Danny Garcia, right? Well, not from Danny. When they fought for the vacant title and he won the title against Danny Garcia, right? Then he had a mandatory. He had to go handle that business. And then him and Earl Spence was penciled in next. You know, you never made no noise for Sean Porter, Terrence Crawford. You never made an effort to fight Sean Porter when he was a world champion. Never. I never seen no, nothing come out of Terrence Crawford saying, well, I want to fight Sean Porter next if he's available, this, that, and the third. No, I never seen nothing like that. You understand? And remember, you and Sean Porter first had this mutual agreement that y'all wasn't going to fight each other unless y'all agreed upon it. No matter what us, the fans said, no matter what the promoter said, or the networks. That was y'all little bond and y'all little pack. You feel me? So when you came out and you said those certain things, or now people are forced to fight me, you know, you know you was contradicting yourself, bro. You know you was. But now the fight is her. Now the fight is her. You understand? And, you know, to say that we are friends and going out to fight each other, you know, that, that's not due for a good fight. That's not due to sell pay-per-views. That's not making people want to see that fight. Oh, man, they saying they're friends. So how hard are they going to go on each other? They're going to try to knock each other out, this, that, and the third? So Terrence Crawford did the exact, I mean, the, the right thing, going in there saying, no, ain't no friends. I'm trying to get him up out of there. And Sean Porter should be doing the exact same thing when he get interviewed and the camera is stuck in his face. What about the friendship between you and Bud Crawford? Uh, it's, it's no friendship now. Um, my, my dad told me to go in there and, and make sure that um, everything put to the side. Um, you can't have no feelings in this game. And, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to try to uh, take that WBO title. And hopefully um, I win and I fight Earl Spence in a rematch. You know what I'm saying? So ain't no friendship in this shit right now. Ain't none. Just like that kid Shakur Stevenson told Jamel Hearn. We ain't best friends. We don't hang out with each other. You don't check up on me over here. I don't check up on you. We cool in the gym. You know what I'm saying? But come the time for us to fight, I'm going to beat your ass. I'm going to beat your ass. And I'm quite sure Sean Porter felt like that. You know? Porter told him, I'm going to show him that he's never been in the ring with somebody like me. And he better be ready. <laughs> and he better be ready. You know what I mean? I remember listening to the um, Porter way on Sean Porter um, channel saying, um, I'm going to bring it to him. He better know if he want to fight Southpaw or Orthodox because I'm not going to give him time to think in there. Fighters give him time to think to where he can figure it out because, like you said, Terrence Crawford going out, he don't really go in there with a the game plan. He figure it out as he goes along, right? Come out Orthodox, bang it out, bang it out, get the rhythm that you're doing, figure you out, get your timing down. Then, bam, he switched Southpaw, confused you, but he got you figured out now, and he know what he want to do inside that square circle. Showtime Sean Porter let him know, you're not going to have time to figure me out, kid. You better come out in orthodox and have a game plan in that position, or you better come out southpaw and have a game plan in that position. Because what I know I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump on your ass early, the, the early rounds that you give away, and I'm going to force your ass to fight that way the entire fight. I'm going to force you to fight that way the entire fight. So you better be in great shape, you better be ready to fight, and you better know how to handle yourself in the inside. Because that's where Sean Porter want to go, in the inside. And if people think that Terrence Will Crawford can keep Sean Porter on the outside for the entire fight, you got to be crazy. You got to be crazy. And I know Bud got a good job, he got good legs, can move and things of that nature. But at the 147-pound division, from each fight that he fought, he haven't been moving like that. Terrence Will Crawford have not been moving using his legs like that. Now, we don't know if that was a testament of him just trying to show people that he's strong and he can bang it out with the cats. Or if, you know, that seven pounds put a little weight on him and, you know, he want to show people that, you know what, if I use my legs, I might tire out or something like that. Who knows? Who knows? But with Showtime Sean Porter, he's going to have to use them legs. He's going to have to show a different, um, that, that I mean, that turns Bud Crawford that we've seen at 35 and 40. You know, when you're going sideways, sideways, what he did to Victor Postal, Felix Diaz, things of that nature. You know what I mean? He's going to have to show them legs. He's going to have to show them because I don't think he's just going to out-muscle Sean Porter. I don't think that's going to happen. You feel me? Yes, Bud is a strong individual. He showed that with the power he can knock people out. And people say that he's more strong than what he looked because, you know, Sean Porter, I mean, turns Bud Crawford. I hate when people try to say that he's not strong like Earl Spence. You know, I think he take offense to that. Hey, hey, Dre, I told them boys I'm strong. But now you're going to know with some motherfucker like Sean Porter who's 
who's physically strong as well. So now I'm going to see, you know, how this fight play out. Main Machine was a strong cat. Don't get me wrong. But I think Sean Porter knows how to use it. He's athletic. He's like the most athletic fighter that turns Boy Crawford may have faced. And, and he knows what he's doing inside that square circle. Now, I still pick turns Boy Crawford win this fight on the cards, but not by knockout. And like I said, if he knock out Sean Porter, that's a statement made to me. Really, it is. And I do get credit where credit is due. I do. No matter what people try to say about Money B. I get credit where credit is due. You understand? Now, Sean Porter going to make this shit rough and tough for Terrence Boyd Crawford. You know what I mean? But at the same time, this is the elite level. This is, what you, this is the fight that you want to prove to the people that you are different. You understand? That you are different. And everybody, like the fanatics, the Bud fanatics, I'm a Terrence Bud Crawford fan, but not a fanatic. The fanatic ones that are saying that he's going to knock them out, things of that nature, you can prove them right as well. And the things that they can say, they can brag on it. So we will find out, bro. We will find out. But one thing I know, Showtime Sean Porter's going to bring it. I know Terrence Bud Crawford going to bring it. I know it's going to be one hell of a fight. You know what I mean? But Bud say that friendship shit is out the window. Your ass is in trouble. I'm trying to knock you the fuck out. You understand? I'm going to try to inflict pain on you. You are my enemy now. You are my enemy now. So there's nothing else to be said. Ain't none of that shake your hand. How you doing? None of that shit. It's fuck you. It's fuck you. Until this fight is over with, and then we can maybe go down the line and say we friends if we don't have a rematch clause put in place. But other than that, homie, it's fuck you right now. You better be ready to fight because I'm going to try to tear your ass up. And Showtime Sean Porter got his game face on. So this fight is going to be one hell of a one, bro. November 20th, we're going to enjoy it. Bad pay-per-view. Even though Tim Bradley tried to hate on these dudes, bad pay-per-view. And let's see these dudes get it on. Let's see them get it on. But one thing I will tell you, Earl Spence is coming. Like they said on Game of Thrones, the winner is coming. <laughs> Earl Spence is coming. So the winner, get ready for the king. And that's just that. Good luck, Showtime Sean Porter. See what you do in the ring. Good luck, to, um, Terrence T. Bud Crawford. Let's see what you do in the ring. Give us a great show. Until then, this your boy Monty. This is the end as we see moving. Ain't nobody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to donate. OG Money on Cash App. Trey Hot the 52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend, tell a friend. Hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share the videos. Y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.